The Combine has always been one of the places where rising prospects make their names known to the general public. One of those players this year will be Auburn linebacker Owen Papo. Find out what makes him great in this two-minute drill. Papo is a very light linebacker, coming in at 6 foot and 225 pounds. And it definitely shows up, he's one of the smallest linebackers I've seen and struggles to get off blocks from stronger offensive linemen. He also has difficulties stopping running backs one-on-one -on -one just due to raw power. He simply is not heavy enough to play linebacker in the NFL right now. Papo does have a lot of attractive traits as a player though. He is super athletic and should blow up the combine. His best attribute is his speed, Papo is blazing fast. Rumored to run a 4-3-2 and bench 435 pounds, he is going to have great testing. As a pure athlete, he is obviously very impressive, but on the field, he knows how to play a linebacker. He has great instincts and intelligence. He is consistently making the correct read and in position to make plays. Due to his lighter weight, he isn't always able to make them, but the potential is there. He flashes the ability to take backs on one-on-one -on -one and is a solid tackler in the open field. He was a defensive captain for two years at Auburn and called plays from the linebacker position. Teams will love that leadership and high IQ, which will help his stock. In coverage, Papo has potential based on his athleticism and instincts, but I didn't see it translate to the field. It's definitely something that's a work in progress, but I have confidence that he will improve and it will become an asset in his game. For a pro comp, Papo reminds me of Jatavius Brown. Both are lighter linebackers, with Brown coming in at 5'11 and 221. Brown also ran a pretty quick 40 at 444, but I think that Papo might blow him out of the water. This speed also gives both great range as a linebacker. Brown was out of the league quickly due to injury, but he did manage to be a starter for the three seasons he was on the Chargers. For a draft range, in a weaker linebacker class where some teams were willing to take a project, Papo is solidly in the day two conversation. His entire stock comes from his combine performance. Putting up huge numbers will solidify him in the discussion for round two, but a disappointing result will cause him to tumble to day three. Regardless, Papo has the talent and upside that should keep teams interested past his athleticism. And that's the two minute drill.